This is my green terror. White poop means internal parasites, and I'm going to show you how to take care of it right now. There we go. If you're here, you probably have an issue with your fish. And you know what? This video is going to help you figure it all out. Now, do you remember this video here? There he is, down there chilling. I'm going to get him out and treat him. Alright, so he wouldn't jump out of the bucket. I put this on here. In order to reduce stress, I put his piece of slate back in there. These used to be an under. Just to keep him a little comfortable as I got ready. So you're going to need some aquarium water to do this. So I'm just going to get some out of here. All right, we're going to be using two different products in multiple ways, so let's get started. So, Gentle Cure, really good stuff, okay? Focus Metroplex mixture to do multiple things. The Focus, that really helps to bind the Metroplex to your food and we'll go through that basically I got the towel here I'm gonna wet the towel down lay the fish here and this is gonna be the first way to cure a fish that refuses to eat so we're gonna be using what's called a pipette okay they come in different sizes as you can see little bit different you can get these at hobby stops hobby lobby craft store stuff like that so basically the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix up some of this Metroplex go ahead scoop some of this Metro out put it in here all right take my pipette get some water in here Mix it up. That. Pipe that. Mix it up. Like that. Alright, beautiful. Next thing we want to do is I'm going to use this one for this fish. I'm going to take some of this water. Wet this down here, like that, and let's get the fish. All right, here's our guy, he's just chilling. Gonna run a little bit more water on him. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this pipe out here. Mix this up a little more. Fill this pipe out. Like that. You can see all the... Oops, I'm sorry. You can see all the product that's inside of it. Anyway... We gotta get past his gills. So we're gonna have to go in about this far to get into his belly. So we're gonna go like this. Come on, buddy. Open your mouth. There you go. What I'm basically gonna do is I'm just gonna roll my fingers like this. He'll eventually swallow it. And it will go in. Don't force it. See, it just went in, see? Get it into his belly, he'll kind of help you out, and then squirt it right into his tummy. Just like that. 
and that's it it's that simple I'll pick them up put them right back into the tank there he is just chilling I'll get his piece of slate in here for him and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to treat them the same way every time I do a water change till he stops pooping white poop and starts to eat. Once he starts eating, then he'll start eating the medicated food that I'm about to show you how to make. Alright, another fantastic way. Bloodworms. Now, I don't know any fish that will not eat worms so this is another great way one scoop of uh, Metroplex do a couple scoops of Focus the Focus will bond the Metroplex to the worms and at this point you can also go this route so I went with about four cubes of these blood worms. We did one Metroplex, two focuses. I'm going to go with some API General Cure. I'm going to do a scoop of that, put that in here too. And we'll mix it all together. I love keeping these vials so you know I can put the API in these vials so I have them around. So I'm going to just take a toothpick and mix this up. See how it's getting nice and thick. And I'll mix this up real good. There we go. So, it almost looks like a paste. You see how it all sticks together? Beautiful. Okay, and last but not least, what I like to use is, I use, like to use the General Cure. For this application, take a packet of General Cure here, put that in here like that, put that open, give me one in here, alright, I like to take a little bit of Epsom salt, Put that in here, like that. And I take me a little bit of garlic guard, a little bit like this, like that. And I'll take some sinking pellets. I'm gonna take some sinking pellets and go like that. Take some floating pellets, floating pellets in there. Take me a little bit of aquarium water, dump it in there like this. Not too much. Then I like to mix it around. Like so. Take a fork or a spoon, mix it around. What we want to happen is, is we want to get it mixed up real good. It soaks into our pellets. And if you add a little bit too much, like I did, let's go ahead and put some more in there. You get all the fluid soaked up into your pellets. There, see that's a lot better. Oh yeah, and there's that leftover Metro we had earlier. I'll just throw that in there. No big deal. See how it's starting to soak up all the fluid? We'll just keep mixing that up till it soaks up all the fluid. Go ahead and take it. Let it set overnight. It'll dry all back up like it was before. Feed it to your fish right to the gut of the problem. 
So if any of these tips helped you out, hit the like button so I know. If you got a question or a comment, leave that question, leave that comment. I will answer that question as soon as I can. Till next time. Yeah.